In the space of science and immense learning toward pieces of information, the subject of what existed almost immediately to the colossal impact has blended conversations and enthralled characters for quite a while. This Goliath request doesn't just test how we could disentangle the universe. It challenges the authentic farthest targets of human data. Envision remaining at the edge of presence, investigating the monstrous shadowing, and taking into account what lay there before our universe was imagined. The event of the Big Bang meant the beginning of history, space, and what we know. In any case, there was a moment sooner, in front of time. This may, there in the end, have been a condition of nothingness, a quiet before the fuming get together started. And assuming that this is genuine, was it? Or perhaps there was something on a very basic level seriously upsetting that existed before time itself. As we hop further into this question, science takes us on a trip past the universe's beginning stage into thoughts that challenge our consideration. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his focus on the marvels of the universe, recommends that something shocking might have existed before the Big Bang. He moves us to reconsider our thinking about the authentic world and presence. In this evaluation, we'll obliterate the science, the speculation, and the astounding insider secrets that could sort out what existed preceding all that. We'll investigate assessments like dependable improvement, quantum changes, dark energy, and, surprisingly, the multiverse. The answers we've uncovered might just cover you but they could yet additionally open new understandings of our circumstance in the universe. Plan to plunge deep into a world beyond imagination and science, where the dark still winds around the shadows, leaving analysts paralyzed and, once in a while, even steamed. We should discuss what existed before the Big Bang and why these hypotheses challenge all that we expected. To appreciate what could have existed before the Big Bang, we first need to look at what the Big Bang actually was. The Big Bang as Retoxophilite depicted, was the event at the point when the universe ended up being astoundingly hot and thick, developing rapidly to set off the advancement of all matter, energy, and limitless powers. When we look close to the night sky, we see confirmation of this hot beginning, with systems fanning out from a starting point. What made this happen? Was there a time before this thick, hot start? As shown by the hypothesis of enormous expansion, there was indeed a formerly and it was far too void or quiet. Grandiose Expansion recommends that, before the Big Bang, the universe was in an express that was cold, vacant, and free, essentially like a motivating vacuum. Regardless, the vacuum wasn't absolutely unfilled. It contained a huge amount of energy that controlled the quick increase of space itself. This advancement, called expansion, happened so rapidly that it generally settled the avocation for all that would continue in a piece of a persistent space. It reached out at great rates until the development toned down and the energy changed into issue particles and the powers we contemplate in the Big Bang. However, what was the idea of this energy? Why did it, from nowhere, energize the universe, and for what reason did it stop? Scientists acknowledge that this boundless expansion made patches of the universe each experiencing its own Big Bang. Envision a surface enlarging ceaselessly with short fuel air bubbles forming, each air pocket tending to a universe, including our own. This thought, called the inflationary multiverse, recommends that there are conceivably unbelievable large bangs and a limitless number of universes. Our own is only one of many. This huge, awesome reality challenges how we could decipher the very universe itself and leaves us with the inquiry. What else is out there? The thought of nothingness before the Big Bang is speculative, not genuine at any rate, as per our continuous comprehension. Whether or not you kill all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it would in any case not be truly void. Our universe is loaded up with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and different powers that we've yet to completely understand. Even in its generally unfilled plan, the universe still holds something. Whether we imagine stripping away these powers, leaving a dead space, the universe would in any case create new kinds of energy. This truth is confusing to specialists, as it recommends that genuine nothingness might be unimaginable within our current comprehension of space. Space itself has properties, decides, and constants that keep it from being absolutely unfilled. Envision making a locale with in a real sense nothing in it. No particles, no radiation, Furthermore, 
negative energy, aside from quantum fields and huge constants, these would still exist, proposing that this nothingness has properties. For instance, there's a thought called zero-point energy, which addresses the most unimaginable energy state of quantum fields. In this state, particles can in any case appear and dissipate, making a frightening reverberation of progress even in what should be void space. This challenges what we would call a certified void and proposes that even before the Big Bang, there was something. Agents are as yet starting to value this. Potentially, one of the most astounding speculations in current cosmology is the chance of undying improvement. If expansion could make our universe, it's conceivable it could proceed endlessly. Brian Cox describes an exceptionally huge inflationary multiverse where universes are unimaginably made and develop. Envision each Big Bang as a glimmer lighting another universe, while expansion happens in various regions, making innumerable other universes. This cycle could, in principle, happen perpetually. This thought of titanic universes making others prompts an entrancing idea of a fractal universe, where each new universe may, in reality, make its own Big Bang. Each universe exists as a substitute, free space, unaffected by the others. For researchers, this theory is both exciting and upsetting, as it recommends a determined multiverse with no unmistakable begin or end. Envision our universe being simply a spot in a giant, grandiose course of action, continually making and consistently making new universes. What if that is the genuine substance of reality? There is no already or later, except for perhaps an undying example of universes forming. How we could decipher nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. As shown by this hypothesis, the universe isn't just a mix of issue drifting in space. Perhaps it's a convoluted relationship of energy fields that fill the universe, associating with cause all that we notice. These fields resemble unimportant seas, with part particles going about as waves or aggravations. Even when fields are at their least energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and disperse in these fields instantly, getting energy. Prior to returning, this trademark prompts virtual particles, substances that immediately exist and afterward dissipate, leaving just a weak memory of their presence. The possibility of virtual particles challenges the believability of a real void. Envision a vacant universe where all matter, radiation, and energy are wiped out. Would you have, truth be told, nothing? As per quantum field hypothesis, you wouldn't. Even in a vacuum, fields would stay dynamic, now and then making transient particles. This reliable development in what ought to be nothing proposes that the universe doesn't adjust to our idea of void. The fields and powers fill the universe with private energy that forestalls outright nothingness. This brings up a spellbinding issue. If fields make particles and particles make matter, might the genuine universe at any point have arisen from this nothingness loaded up with quantum fields? Dark energy is an odd force that at present drives the sped-up development of our universe. In any case, did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? As per a few points of view, the way that dark energy exists today is a deferred outcome of an energy field from before our universe's improvement. The properties of dark energy suggest that a beast, puzzling power might have existed in some structure, prior to the enormous detonation. A few hypotheses propose that dark energy, in a much stronger state, might have controlled the inflationary stage, causing quick extension. The presence of dark energy proposes that whether our universe was purged of all matter and radiation, this power would continue to foster the outer layer of space-time. This idea prompts an upsetting inquiry. If dark energy was available before the Big Bang, might it at any point have in the long run shaped the conditions that prompted the introduction of our universe? Might dark energy at any point be the quiet architect of expansion, or even the valid start of our universe? As we investigate this chance, we face the potential of dark energy not as a power molding our universe, but as a key that could open the privileged insights of the multiverse itself. Another speculation is simply cyclic cosmology. This offers an option to the Big Bang as a conclusive starting. This hypothesis proposes that the universe goes through tremendous examples of birth, demise, and recharging. In this model, the Big Bang is definitely not a one-time occasion, 
but perhaps part of an undying cycle where universes form independently and then revive in another cycle. This hypothesis suggests that our universe could have been re-established from the leftovers of a past universe. The course of pressure and development in a cyclic example would actually intend that there was never a genuine start, but instead a timeless series of universes arising and restoring themselves over and over. Cyclic cosmology raises critical questions, never a preferred time over right now, as it proposes that time itself could rehash instead of proceed. If this speculation is correct, it could mean that what existed before the Big Bang was basically one more type of the universe, one that fell solely to bring forth our ongoing universe. For researchers, this hypothesis offers a rich answer for the topic of outrageous starting points, proposing that there is no clear starting. The universe has consistently existed in some structure, rising above our ideas of time and presence. Gravitational waves are another captivating idea that could reveal insight on what existed before the Big Bang. These waves, found in 2015, are swells in space-time brought about by inconceivably enormous objects like black holes or impacting neutron stars. These waves can travel huge spans, conveying data about the occasions that made them. Could gravitational waves give understanding into the creation of the universe? A couple of physicists propose that gravitational waves from the time before the Big Bang could offer signs about the state of the universe before expansion started. Gravitational waves from the early universe might leave follows that could assist us with grasping whether the Big Bang was really the start or whether there were grandiose occasions before that. We try not to yet see the value in these waves. They could be remainders left by occasions past our normal comprehension. Their presence may likewise infer a more noteworthy construction past the one we are aware of. These weak signs could open bits of knowledge that could have a significant impact on our viewpoint. Similarly, as we revealed the Big Bang's starting point, consider the likelihood that they show the weak hints of a past universe or an occasion that happened preceding the Big Bang. As specialists continue to investigate the profound ranges of space, this has yet to be addressed. What existed before the Big Bang? With current speculations highlighting quantum mechanics, multiverses, and the Big Bang, it appears we are closer than ever to unwinding the profound insider facts of the universe's beginnings. While the complete response remains tricky, our comprehension of what exists before the Big Bang keeps on developing with each discovery. As we investigate these theories, we can likewise consider how they might fit together to uncover the larger picture, the genuine substance of presence itself. Yet, up to that point, we are left with the mystery driving science and meandering into dark spots, a long way past what we have learned. We continue to dive into the insider facts of what existed before the Big Bang. Clearly, how we might interpret the universe is continually advancing. One basic area of examination includes the connection between presence itself and time as we experience it. Time might not have existed in the manner we comprehend it before the Big Bang. A few speculations suggest that time, as an idea, began with the Big Bang, making it difficult to track what came before. This thought difficulties our basic impression of presence, recommending that the topic of before may not really be applicable when it comes to the universe's beginnings. In addition, later advances in the investigation of quantum mechanics have sparked novel thoughts about the nature of reality. One especially charming idea is the chance of a quantum vacuum, a state where, even without a trace of issue, the universe isn't really vacant. Rather, it is loaded up with fluctuating energy fields that can lead to particles and powers. These quantum variances could have played a significant role in the arrangement of the universe, as they would have given the fundamental circumstances for the Big Bang to happen. This raises the question of whether the universe could have risen up out of a quantum change, or, on the other hand, if it was somehow set off by these changes. Another interesting part of pre-Big Bang hypothesis revolves around the possibility of enormous recycling in cyclic cosmology. The universe goes through a perpetual series of developments and constrictions. Later, each Big Bang, the universe would eventually contract once more into a singularity before growing again. This repeating interaction could genuinely intend that the present status of the universe is the very most recent cycle in an everlasting series of inestimable births and passings. Some researchers suggest that each cycle could lead to somewhat different results, with the ongoing setup of the universe being molded by the circumstances of the past cycle. 
This thought challenges the idea of a distinct starting, proposing rather that the universe is in a steady condition of re-establishment. The chance of extra aspects likewise adds another layer of intricacy to how we could interpret what went before the Big Bang. String theory, for instance, proposes the presence of additional aspects beyond the recognizable three components of space and one aspect of time. These extra aspects could provide a completely new framework for understanding the universe's beginnings.